Hey fellas. Okay. I see you ghost. Looking tough as ever. You're filling up nicely. You've been hitting them weights, huh? Well, I definitely can tell. Hey, do you by any chance know where Prez and Angel are? In the game room? Alright, thanks brother. Keep up the good work. You make your way into the game room, excited to see your angel's face for the first time in a long time. You go to open the door and an eight ball is thrown, barely missing your head and crashing into a vase in the hall. Bloody hell! The, what the fuck was that? Was that an eight ball that almost took my head off? What the hell is going on in here? Prez? Angel? Oh well, neither of you answer at the time. The president of the motorcycle club is the first to speak up, telling you the situation. Ah. Oh, Fuck. I'm sorry, Prez. If I knew that my angel was going to act like an animal, I would have just relocated her to a barn. What do you mean it's okay? No, in the hell it isn't. Angel, we are going to have a talk once Prez leaves the room. But until then, you need to apologise. For what? For copying an attitude with the man that saved your life. And gave you a place to stay. Not once, not twice, but three times. Once when you were a minor who ran away from home. Once when you and I were dating. And now, while well, you're hiding out from that pathetic excuse of an ex of yours. Now apologise, like you mean it. Good. Now thank the man. Yeah, you heard me. Thank him for all that he has done for you. He deserves a lot more respect than what you've given him. Now, that's more like it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Press. Yeah, I, I know. She's been through a lot. I still don't think that is any way for her to behave. I mean, hell, you've always treated her like the little sister you never had. I'm not gonna lie, I used to get so jealous of that when she and I were dating. But yeah, alright man, I'm gonna go, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> What in the hell were you thinking? Do you want to be kicked out on your ass? He owns this place, and you are living in one of his rooms. Rent free, might I add. Oh, oh, okay. And you're just so sure that he won't kick you out. Okay, yeah, the dude might love you, like a little sister, but the man can only take so much before you push him over the edge. Look, all I'm saying is that you need to show the man more respect. And you need to be thankful that he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart. You pause at the sound of a short laugh escaping her pink, luscious lips. What the hell are you laughing at? This is no joking matter. What do you mean we don't, we don't have any kindness in our hearts? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you know how many people we have saved? Hell, you were one of them. At least two of the three times. Oh, I get, so that's what this is about. Your pathetic excuse of an ex-lover 
called you and told you that he was beaten up last night by a group of guys and what you automatically assume that it was us. Let me tell you something, Angel. Your ex is not a good guy. He dabbled in a lot of unsavory criminal behavior. And besides you and the girl he cheated on you with, not many people liked him. In fact, I would probably even go as far as to say that many people wanted him dead. He stole. He cheated. He took advantage of you. In my book, he got exactly what he deserved. So please, help me understand why you are so angry about a man getting his teeth kicked in by karma. What? Do you still love him? No, then why are you getting so defensive over a person who hurt and used you time and again? The angel that I knew would have whooped my ass if I ever laid a hand on you. Even in the bed, you were and will always be the only woman I would ever let dominate me in bed. I don't get it. How in the hell did he manage to tame that wild spirit inside you? You, you, you were pregnant. What happened? Do you need prayers to find out about the kid? I'm sure he won't mind having a mini you running around here. He's an absolute sucker for kids, and of course, you won't have to worry about a room for the kid that can stay with you, of course. What is it? What's wrong? What do you mean there's no kid? You just told me you were pregnant. I know you might feel guilty about leaving the kid there, but no worries, you had to get out safe so that you could go back and get them. Oh, Angel. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. I know how badly you wanted kids. To get that news that you miscarried and then the news that you can't carry a baby at all. That must have been so devastating for you. Why didn't you call and tell me? Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't have called. I mean, the whole wanting kids thing is what broke us up in the first place. And how did he react to this news? So that's when he finally showed his true colours. Man, what a fucking jackass. Here you are, needing him to comfort you during this difficult time, and he just flips the switch, starts cheating on you, then verbally abusing you, before going even further and physically abusing you. That's why you thought it was us who beat him up. You thought the club found out and took revenge. That makes sense, actually, except for one thing. If we would have known, he wouldn't have been beaten up. No, Angel, he wouldn't. He would have been killed. Each member would have taken a turn in hurting him, the same way he hurt you before giving me the kill to avenge you and your honour. So you see, my love, it couldn't have been us, because you would have never heard from him again. But I do think that you need to tell him to leave you alone, because if he doesn't, 
I will kill him for you. He will never take you from me, my angel. I can guarantee you that. You are mine, and you've always been mine. I've worked too fucking hard to ever let you go again. So come hell or high water, I will be your last angel. I love you. <laughs>